Hey guys, it's uh, Vanda Crosley back again. I just wanted to share with you how to get things out of SkySlope. So you've got a lease transaction that you have approved, they've accepted it, now what? So you know how to do zip forms, you know how to you know, get things e-signed. So now what do you do? Now you have to go into SkySlope. So I'm gonna go into SkySlope and show you the other forms that's needed for this transaction. So, and I went into zip forms. I'm trying to go into SkySlope. Okay, here we go. SkySlope. So we wanna go into the one here called Working Documents. Now this is only specific for the state of Texas. Uh, as you know, we're in Houston, so, um, this is not for every other state. So we go into unfiled docs here. I'm sorry, we go into office docs. Then we go into Texas Coastal. So while we're here at office docs, these are some other ones that you might need for other transactions if you don't know where they are. And there's two pages of them here. So we're gonna go into Texas Coastal. So within Texas Coastal, we're going to look for the uh, W-9 2002. Uh, that is, you're also going to need this lease fillable. So while we're here, let's go ahead and download that. It looks like this. This is your lease invoice. And to fill this out, you just download it and then you upload it to PDF Escape. So where is it? Uh, that's not it. Did I overlook it? Let's see. Okay, here it is, W9, and it's for 2021. So every year they put in another one. So make sure you are in the current year. It tells them where to send all the payments to. It goes to Dallas, Texas, not to Austin. And this is the W-9. So you don't have to do anything with it. It's already signed. Make sure it's got a 2021 on it. So you just download it. The other thing I wanna point out while we're here is the Texas transaction checklist. This is for all files that go into SkySlope. They're supposed to be submitted within 48 hours of the execution date. And these are the most commonly used forms. Of course, there could always be others that could be added, but in your checklist, this is what it's gonna tell you that you're gonna need. So like if you're for a lease and you are the one who is leasing it for the landlord, you need the MLS printout showing that it's active. TXR 2501, information about brokerage, lease agreement, listing agreement, wire fraud notice. And remember, we do not run background checks or application checks for the landlord. That is what they're supposed to do. So let's scroll down some more. And we have a checklist for new bills, if you happen to do that, unimproved property. Today, we're talking about lease contracts. So we need the MLS printout, the buyer tenant rep agreement, information about brokerage service, wire fraud notice, copy of EXP's commission checks. A lot of times you may not get that. Um, it may go on to Dallas and you don't get it, but I would always ask for it. Ask them to send you a copy of it before they mail it out. 
you need the EXP lease boy invoice that we just downloaded. And intermediary notice is required if you represent the landlord and the tenant. It didn't ask for the W-9, but that's required as well. And if you do apartment leases, you just need the information about brokerage service, EXP lease invoice, and the wire fraud warning. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, if you need anything else, of course, you know I'm always here for you. I look forward to talking with you soon.